Gold Coast customers are demonstrating today over their monies which has been locked up with the company for some months now. Behind me, as you can see, are the demonstrators crying and calling on government and Pakwesi Indu, who is the CEO of the bank, to release their investments to them. Go and then talk to some of the protesters and get a better scene of the situation. We are demonstrating to show government that we are the customers who have been interrogated and agitated because of GN and vote for security. Now it has been admitted to the GN fund. In fact, our monies have locked up for a month and government is not paying attention to us. We are here this morning to demonstrate to show the whole Ghanaians that we have been victimized. The president is asleep in our case and because we haven't shown any demonstration. That is why we are demonstrating to show the government and the president, the Naku Fadu, that we are very, very, very serious. We are serious and we are in demand of our money without any immediate effect. Okay. So, how much do you have there? How much do you have there? I have 73,000 Ghana cities there. 73,000 Ghana cities. That's what. Yes. Exactly. We will take the, the, the demonstration to the next level of action. Our executives are planning the next demonstration, which is going to take us to Ida Elmina or Accra. That is what we are looking out for. Not so. Our executives have been communicated with them. They've been to, yes, they've been telling us lies. They've got, like uh, they say, they are on course. They are still putting things in order to settle us. But then we are not hearing anything. That is why we are still demonstrating. Yes, that one is with our executives. Yes, but personally, I have 73,000 with the GN Bank. Oh, yes, a friend of mine also has uh, about uh, 10,000, some also have 50,000, others have 100,000, among others. So, in fact, GN has collapsed individual pockets, you know. How do you want the government to come in? We want the government to, as a matter of agency, come to our aid and then try to, you know, intervene in GN issue and as well as the gold fund.
to in, in order for us to get our money. What was the investment about? They, they told you when you put your money at the Gold Coast, uh, speed, what, 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 was the, what was the agreement? Actually, mine was savings, yes, with the GN Bank. Okay. Yes, so as for the investment, investment. mine wasn't investment. So yours, yours was savings? Yes. So you can't withdraw? You can't, you can't even go to the bank to withdraw, make any withdrawals. When you go there, some, some banks have only one teller there, which will be, you know, captivating the, the, the customers in order not to, you know, interrupt the, the public. But then the bank is seemingly collapsed. Habib Ibrahim Moro, a.k.a. Prof. Prof. They said the government owes them. And the monies were used in building the Axim Sea defense. And a lot of things. The government, the road contractors, they come to them to borrow. And now he's not paying the contractors for the contractors to pay back to Ugoko security. That is why things have gone this way. So, 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 so then, yeah. why are you directly attacking that person instead of government? He collected the money from us. He collected the money from us. So when we attack him, he will attack the government so that we get our money. So how much do you have there? Have there? I have 20,000. 20, Is it Ugoko security or GNB? Goku security. security. What was the agreement about? I mean, when uh, Goku security, what was the agreement about? You see, uh, at first, I, I joined it about two years ago. At first, it was 28%. That is three months. Now, uh, when it's a six months, it increases. You see? But I went in for three months. You know, I don't have money. Yeah. Pensioner. My children are the tertiary. So the interest, I use that money in, in, in so do supporting, support. yes, in supporting the fees. So that I can survive. But all of a sudden, they came and they said uh, they have stopped. The government say they should stop. Yes. And they also stop. But one thing is, when we go to uh, a Goko security, they don't tell us the truth. They were giving us a whole lot of stories. They told us March we should come for our certificate, and the interest accrued so far. They will pay us. They asked me. I said I was a pensioner. Oh, I for pensioners. Uh, uh, we have a package for them because some are old, some have been going to hospital, they can't pay their uh, 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 bills. So we are the priority, they will pay us up to now. Not even a penny I've been put into my account. They collected my account number, they collected where I live. So I had a hope that with this, at least something good will come out of it. But up to now. So how has it affected you and your entire family? How now look, at, you know, I'm holding crutches now. No money to buy drugs. I'm using scratches at the moment. Did you see me walking? You see, so these are some of the effects. You see, I had to go elsewhere borrowing money to, to, to supplement my, my children fees who are at the tertiary level, which is very bad. You are welcome. I'm Mr. Courage. Yeah, I'm a vote. My name is James Anguano, a.k.a. Sampene. The reason why I was investing in Papa Kosindum is uh, the percentage is 28, 29. But if you go to other banks, it's not like that. Then we are hope that uh, if we invest there, the, the interest can help us to pay our children's school fees and others. That's why we go there. We are many. I don't know what comes. All of a sudden, we go there for, if you draw the interest, they say no money. And later they gather us inside the office. Ah. Then they give us time to pay our money, like last year, May. Up to now. I hope that's why we gather ourselves to do this demonstration. So, he tell us that the uh, government owe him. But uh, if it is true, government should come out to tell us that uh, it's true that he won't papa go him. Because, as I stand here, I suppose to take my daughter to training college because uh, it's painful that uh, your daughter will compete SS and uh, you couldn't further. It's painful. That's why I want to put my money there. After now, my, 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 my daughter is in the house. I don't have money to uh, register my daughter to. Uh, even later I go over, they say, say they have already registered them. It's still in the house. Now, to get work to do is hard. So, if you didn't father your daughter or your son or your children, in fact, it's painful. Do you save at Goku's or, or Jemba? Yes, um, I, I save at Goku's security. So how much do you have there? 25,400. 25,400. Tell us, um, 
go to go to the arrangement uh, it was a fixed deposit so you invest and then at the end of the month we will roll over whatever so why, you know, why have you reached why, why have you reached here i mean for some time now, they, when you request for money, you are not paid. So we've been going there and we have not had any response from them. They only tell you to hold on and that you will be hearing from them. So per your private investigation or per your private findings, what have you found? What have you heard? What are some of the reasons why they are not paying you? Uh, they, they are saying that the government owes them, and so when government pays them, then they also see to us. I've asked you, uh, somebody's question, I'll ask you the same question. If the government is not paying them, why don't you have to attack Bakos Indian, not the government directly? I have, I have no contract with government. I have contract with Bakos Indian. So he is the person I have to. So you are demonstrating, and if nothing comes as well, will you do? We'll continue until our monies are paid. So what do you want the government? To come in, to intervene, to come in. To intervene so that we get our money. We are individuals and we have invested our money. So what way has it affected us? Definitely, my brother, you know it will affect my financial standing. Uh -huh. In what way you will not be able to meet your obligations as and when they call you. My name is Yvonne Obiya Sante. Because of our monies, I'm a pensioner at the same time a widow. I've deposited all my pension monies there. And even this August or September, my child is in school at the university. I need money to pay his fees and I, I'm not getting any money. Pension pay, how can, how can it take me to? It cannot take me to anywhere, so I need my money. You say you, say you are what you, you are? I'm a pensioner at the same time a widow. I'm 11 years old widow, and I've been taking care of my children. How many? There are three. So how much do you have there? I'm about going to 800 million. Yes. Yes. So when you go there, what do you tell They don't tell us anything. They said they are migrating us to another fund called Cardinal Fund. And we've not said anything about Cardinal Fund. So we say, I'm not going to do it. We need our money. It's only our money that we need and nothing else. How many years have you invested as well? I invested some years back. But I collected and then just last year when I went to pension, I put all my pension monies there. Okay, so tell us how you put up for the family No, I use the pension. And it is not... Uh -huh. It's not enough. It's something small. I had to go and borrow money to uh, survive on. Why? What's your full name? My name is Cecilia Atemensa. Are you a former teacher? Yes, teacher. TTI. TTI. Oh, yeah. General, good morning. Dear President and other regulatory bodies, this is our petition. We, the customers of Gold Coast Fund Management in Western Region, are petitioning your office and other regulatory bodies to assist us to claim our locked, locked up investments with the, uh, the, fund, the fund management. It will be recalled as Securities and Exchange Commission's letter dated 18th June 2018 to executives and boards of asset management companies, signed by the Director General, Mr. Daniel Obuami Tete, directed fund managers to discontinue offering fixed-term investments through 
guaranteed returns and wind up within six months period from 1st July to 31st December 2018. This directive was not adhered to by management of Gold Coast Securities and continued receiving deposits up to January 2019. The directive further asked fund management to unwind such existing investments on maturity. This was not done. Mr. President, in October 2018, the CEO of Gold Coast Fund Management met the customers at Takrade branch office where he gave an assurance to pay all the investors by the first week of March 2019. To our dismay, Gold Coast Fund Management subsequently issued a printed note to customers indicating replacement options for the structured fund, uh, finance products and cardinal asset fund. The proposed option mentioned in the area, one, the replacement offers the customers the ability to periodically redeem portions of their investment to meet their needs. Two, customers who opt to transition would be paid within one to three years. Three, customers who choose not to transition their investment into the new portfolio would be placed on a repay, uh, payment plan for a period ranging from one year to five year period without specification of any other additional commensurate interest which would accrue within the time of payment. Mr. President, we the customers saw these attempts as a total breach of con contract we signed with management and vehemently objected to them. According to the contractual agreement with Gold Coast Fund Management, they were to invest our funds in the structured finance, which is fixed deposit, for periods ranging from three months to one year. It would interest you, Mr. President, to note that close to a year after the declaration of the wind-up, management of Gold Coast Fund Management has wickedly refused to show any sign of commitment towards the repayment of our investment, despite consistent efforts on our part to get our monies. They continued lock up our investments in the continued lock up of our investment is causing disastrous consequences the situation is causing deaths untold and unimaginable hardships in the lives of the innocent customers who include pensioners and other vulnerable and helpless citizens of ghana we have also learned with great disbelief that dr park the man behind Gold Coast Fund Management cleverly diverted funds from Gold Coast Fund Management into assets stroke investments of Indum Group, which is another company of his, leading to a complicated situation where customers seeking legal redress end virtually nowhere. If this is really true, then it amounts to nothing but a cleverly way of defrauding innocent citizens of Ghana which uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, the re regulatory body, appears either helpless or indifferent of the plight of customers. Finally, we are appealing passionately to you, Mr. President, to, as a matter of urgency, order the IGP to effect the immediate arrest of the Dr. Park Sindum for thorough investigation and also ensure payment of customers' money without any further delay. We hope and pray that a swift and an uh, expedited action will be offered to our petition. We also do hope that the payment would include our principal and interest as of October 2018, as well as any additional interest accrued up to the time of payment. Attached is the list of peti uh, petitioners for your perusal. Then now uh, we've given copies to the Western Regional Security Council, second D, the Western Regional Commander of Police, the Western Regional House of Chiefs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I thank you for the orderly manner that you have conducted yourself. You have really shown that you are good citizens of Ghana. You have not resorted to any violence. You are exercising your democratic rights. And I think it's in order. I assure you that this petition is going to the president immediately so that whatever action that we need to take for the hardship that you are facing to be alleviated, 
I want to assure you that the government is ready to cooperate with you to see to the end of this issue. Thank you very much for coming. And let us all pray for good life, that you get your investment and all the hardship that you are going through will come to an end. I pray. Thank you very much. So after the demonstration at Takrade Market Circle, we marched forward to the RCC where the demonstrators were waiting for the regional minister to hear his response. But unfortunately for us, we came and the deputy regional minister was the one who responded to the demonstrators. And she was saying that she prays that by, by the grace of God, the demonstrators will hear a good result from the government because they have the democratic right to ask for their money and any other question to the government. So he, she's assured, she has assured the protesters that indeed the government of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nado Dankwe Kufuado, will surely respond to their cry and will take immediate action as soon as possible. So here comes the end of the demonstration today by the God Coast Security customers here in the Western region. My name is Nana Amabuidua. Thank you for watching.